Sunderland or Newcastle, who is the bigger club? Now, I know what you're thinking, Sunderland scarf, Sunderland shirt, he's obviously going to say Sunderland, but I promise I'm going to be as unbiased as I can, um, and I'm going to go through factors such as history, stadium, success, head-to-head, -head, attendance, whatever it may be, we are coming to a conclusion in this video on who is the bigger club. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy these types of videos or you want to see more, obviously I am just starting out on this channel, please like and subscribe and comment, it honestly would mean the world to me, but yeah, we'll just get straight into things. Right, the first thing we're going to look at is um, trophies, because that's the thing that everyone looks at realistically when we're looking at club size and stuff like that. We're not going to classify anything that is below the first tier, um, so that being second tier champions, um, winners, trophies and third tier. Because realistically, although I am proud of the fact that we can do stuff like that um, and win the second tier, it is a big achievement. It just means we've fallen that low and realistically it's not fair because we've been in that league different amount of times. Um, basically, it's just not as big as an achievement and it's not classed as a major trophy. We're also not classing anything knockout that isn't that doesn't include all the clubs. Um, so no Papa John's Pizza trophies, sadly, that isn't a major um trophy so we're not classing this and we're not classing these two is what i'm saying however um six league titles and still going strong that's obviously um reinforced by this uh, and we won it in i believe 1912 1901 well it's on here basically um is what i'm saying and i'm gonna put that on a pedestal above fa cups and i know that seems a bit like oh that's a bit biased because we've won obviously two more and uh, newcastle winning four i'll bring up the newcastle one in a second and we'll compare but I'm putting it on a pedestal because I think if you ask any um, club that's been winning league titles and FA Cups for the past like 10 years, the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea, United and um, City, whoever, right, they'll all see the league title is what they strive for compared to the FA Cup. Now, I'm not saying the FA Cup's bad. I love the FA Cup and I think it is the best domestic competition in the world. However, that being said, I would prefer a league title, um, that being the Premier League, than an FA Cup. Um, just because I think that it is more prestigious so currently that could change in the future but anyway the league title to me is more important than the FA Cup in terms of trophies and something to put in the cabinet but yeah two FA Cups and six league titles um, and we've also won an English Super Cup now what that is I'm very unsure um, maybe the Community Shield but I'm not uh, I'm not 100% um, I think it could be because it was after our FA Cup win but anyway basically that's what we've won we're going to have a look at newcastle and we're going to compare and see who basically wins all right let's have a look at newcastle's major trophies now initially you're thinking we've lost but i'm gonna like obviously they've won 11 we've won nine major trophies in my opinion um or they could have well they've won 12 because we are counting the in the city's fair cup winner because that is a European Cup, although it's not what we know it as today, and it's not probably as prestigious, it is still a European Cup, and that is a decent achievement for a club. We haven't really been in Europe, well, I say we haven't really been in Europe. We haven't been in Europe. Um, but yeah, what I'm seeing is, they've won 12 major trophies, we've won nine. That is a little bit of a difference, but I'm gonna argue for our case for a second, four league titles compared to our six i'm gonna say six league titles obviously is a lot better than four but i'm going to see our two fa cups and there's six i don't really think they're on the same level i think us having more league titles is more important than them having more fa cup wins however with that being said they have been in europe and they have won more trophies so i am inclined to give newcastle the win on the trophies front um, but it is close. People won't like Newcastle fans don't want to admit that it's close. They want to say, well, twelve is bigger than nine, or whatever it may be. We've won more FA Cups. Realistic, we've won more league titles, and league titles to me is the most important thing in English football. Like, yes, there's domestic cups, but that's an add-on to the league. The whole point of the ninety-two and the whole point of this league structure we have um, set out over hundreds of years is because. The whole point of it is to get up to the Premier League or the Premiership or whatever it may be and to win the league. That is the whole point. The FA Cup is an added bonus. So I think the fact that we have more league titles shows how big we are. And realistically, I think that should be the main focus. 
but that could be seen as bias so I am inclined to give it to Newcastle but I think there is still a case to, to see if we've won um, on the trophy front I just don't think I should be the one making the case because it is a bit biased but Newcastle win on the trophies 1-0 Newcastle however 6 league title still going strong right for our next topic we're going to have a look at success more recently because obviously 4 league titles and 6 FA Cups for Newcastle and our 6 league titles 2 FA Cups they were a long time ago realistically um, and a lot of our success has been in the 1800s early 1900s to mid 1900s um, and that's a very long time ago so we're going to have a look at recent success um, this is going to take into account last time we won a major trophy league positions over the years cup runs stuff like that so basically who's been more successful over time because as much as people don't want to admit it club size isn't all about history right we have a look at man city and chelsea 50 years ago we were a bigger club than both of those now it's up for debate city are now as people don't want to admit it but they are now a big club right just because they weren't 50 to 100 years ago doesn't mean they can't increase club size over time they have now got this success and they have now got an increased number of fans same with chelsea um so yeah last major trophy 1955 for newcastle that's a long time ago the younger generation they are definitely not going to remember that obviously and even 50 60 year olds aren't going to know or well they'll know of it but they're not going to remember the success that newcastle had so we're gonna have a look at sunderland now sunderland's last major trophy was in 1973 obviously against Leeds united in the final um, of the fa cup so although not great either we do technically win on this sub topic if you will obviously there's more factors that come into success recently but yeah me the last major trophy Sunderland win and uh, i'll take it at the end of the day however it's not great from both clubs we really do need to get back to our winning ways uh, from the 1800s and 1900s um not that i can remember that obviously um, but yeah, so technically we win on that one, but we'll have a look at more factors. Right, so I've worked out basically the past 15 years of FA Cup runs. So this is starting from about 2015 um, till the turn of the century, because I thought it would be the most fair. We win, but do we win? Realistically, I could count this, but I'm feeling like we've both done pretty bad in the FA Cup, so I'm going to have to take it to the League Cup. Realistically, we've we've had a semi-final against Millwall but then if you look before um, the turn of the century Newcastle did pretty well as well and so did we uh, in the 90s so realistically I'd say we're equal although there's like a point a point one two five difference in round numbers I'm gonna say equal I could give us this one but I, I think I'm being a bit pedantic here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look at the Carlin Cup Cavill One Cup the 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 other cup whatever it's been named as of recent all right capital one um and the carabao whatever you want to call it has been exactly the same we've basically both got to the fourth round over the past 15 years that's been our average however i'm going to give it to sunderland i'm not being pedantic here and i'm not stretching we got to a major final that is something that newcastle can't see for the past 15 or 20 years they haven't got to a major final or even semi-final in the past 15 years we've done that we got to the final and we had a great run along the way we beat united on penalties um, and it was one of the best moments in Sunderland's recent history and then we scored the opener at Wembley against Man City Fabio Barini please come back um, but yeah we basically we've done it we've got the final obviously we didn't win that would have been a bit of accomplishment but we got there, Newcastle didn't, therefore, although we've been very similar, I'm going to edge it to Sunderland now. Whether that's a bit of bias, um, let me know, but I don't think it is. I really think that we top it on this one, just like a small amount. However, I think we do top it by getting to that final. Um, let me know if you do agree. But yeah, I'm thinking 2-0 on this subtopic to Sunderland so far. Right, so the final thing we're going to look at in recent success is going to be Premier League standings and that being average league position. I've looked at loads of evidence for this and um, basically Newcastle do top it just like by a small amount, but they do top it. When we were in the Prem, like we were getting basically the same as them, but obviously we've had a bit of a fall from grace um, in the League One, so that's kind of playing a part. And also... If we have a look, there's some like really good places in here. You won't be a sixth or webcam, so I'll just move it. But 
there's been some fifth places in here. There's been, if we have a look at the turn of the century, fourth, third, and fifth. And although we've had our um, Kevin Phillips and Niall Quinn era, and we have done really well getting upwards of you know top ten quite a few years, um, it's not really uh, as good as what Newcastle have been getting. Therefore, I'm gonna have to edge it to Newcastle on the uh, average lay position. Now, Dory, I've looked at more. There's a moth flying about. I've looked at more than just this. I've looked at other statistics to try and, you know, um, show evidence against this. But realistically, if I have to be fair and honest, which I, I'm going to try and be, Newcastle do top it on the average league position. Um, and it is quite close, but n not as close as I'd want it to be. It is a lot more um, heavily towards Newcastle. So we'll see Cup Run, Sunderland, average league position, Newcastle, and then like who's won the most major trophies in recent times it's been pretty bad but Sunderland does top that so overall trophies goes to Newcastle that's the first topic and then the second topic success recently I'm gonna give it a Sunderland just so 1-1 one, one so far I'm trying to be as fair as possible and um, we'll go into the next topic all right the next topic is going to be attendance um, and stadium basically so if we have a look at highest attendance we smash this and um, we have the highest attendance in a derby and I was going to include this in the derby but we'll, we'll stick to the actual fixtures of the derby um, so yeah highest attendance in a derby 68,000 at Roker Park in 1950 we also have the highest overall attendance 75,000 versus Derby County that smashes their record against Chelsea um, and it was in the same time period so really there is no excuse there and there's was 68,000 so I think for that little subtopic we win um, but we are going to obviously have a look at the average attendance um, in the stadiums and then I'm going to have a look at the actual stadiums which is fully opinion based so I'm not really going to count that one um, but yeah we're going to have a look at average attendance and see who wins on that but yeah overall highest attendance we do win that one uh, and we also win highest attendance in a derby match right highest average attendance now Newcastle kind of win this one however there is a couple of factors we've got to take into account obviously Newcastle have a bigger stadium but it's only by like 3,000 so we won't really consider that but on the games they've sold out and we've sold out obviously theirs is going to be more um, but um, we've also got to look at the fact they have been in the Prem um, in recent times so their attendance has been a lot higher however with that being said yes Newcastle have a really high average attendance not even just because of the takeover like in general Des is really good in recent times that is um, ignore this dip I believe that was because of Covid that obviously was because of Covid as well um, but yeah it's been up until like the turn of the century it's been 50 40,000 it's been decent um, obviously when they dropped the championship they decided they didn't want to bring any fans 43,000 uh, I'm joking obviously um, that is still very very good for the championship um, and yeah so it's been decent however if we have a look at before the turn of the century it was 36,000 21,000 and there isn't really an excuse because they were at St James's Park still so why it was this low I'm not sure because it was really low and we definitely went before the turn of the century like in recent times it's been decent it's been very good in fact um, and there isn't really much I can say about that but we'll have a look at Sunderland's uh, attendance the highest average attendance for Sunderland um, so yeah League 1 we dropped off to 30,000 but that's still smashing records um, and in the championship obviously we had a bad year right we were going to go down and um, we had loads of club problems you can't blame the fans like 27,000 in the championship is unreal especially when we knew we were going to go down like 30 games in 20 games in um, or whatever it may be right um, but still well not 30 games in 20 games in but like we, we knew we were having problems and we knew that it wasn't going to be a good year and when you're in the second division and you've been in the Prem for so long it's it's you can't blame the fans but we've also got to think about the fact that Newcastle is three times the size of Sunderland Newcastle metropolitan area has nearly a million people it's like 800,000 I think Sunderland is 300,000 so although like that's like something to take into account it, it's not an excuse on my behalf I'm not saying that we should and get as many fans as them I'm just saying that we've got to take stuff like that into account but still um, Newcastle do win this. We obviously average about 40,000 in the Prem, which is very, very good. Um, that's like one sixth of our population. That's unbelievable. Um, and yeah, we had a little drop off like then, but we managed to maintain it a little bit better. But yeah, 
I would say Newcastle win, and I would. I was going to go into a ramble about how like we have the best fans in the country, um, us and Newcastle included, and we just need to get back to winning ways because we've both had a lot of disappointment and heartache. Us a lot more than them, but still, um, and when we get back to winning ways, then hopefully our attendance will increase, um, to forty thousand again because those days they sold forty thousand back in twenty fourteen thirteen era, um, it was unbelievable and um. Yeah, I just want to be back to those times. I don't think that's so hard to ask. Um, but I know it realistically is, but still, I'm happy with my 30,000 attendance in League One and hopefully 35, 37, 000 in the Championship. If we can push to that, I'd be very happy. But yeah, um, Newcastle win this, and I'm going to have a look at the stadiums, but that's just too biased because I'm obviously going to see the stadium alight. And um, so yeah, I'm going to see average attendance they win, but we win highest attendance. So I'm going to give it equal for the stadium. Um, so it is up to the derby days and head to head is going to be the deciding factor but we will have a quick look at the stadium hey, a quick little ramble of why i don't like seeing james's park but this is so biased and um, it's horrible it's so ugly i don't understand like this here is like one third the size of that it's the ugliest stadium i've ever seen in my life it is this big on one side and this big on the other how can anyone like that yes it's big but big stadiums don't equal good if you have a look at west ham stadium that is horrible a horrible stadium it's massive like it doesn't matter how big stadium is it's still ugly um, but yes stadium park is horrible so it's a very ugly stadium um, if we just have a look at this like, yes the light is weird it's massive on one side and small on the other. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is just a bit biased, but it looks okay um, from the inside, but no, nah, it's obviously, I don't like it at all. And if we just look at them, Stadium of Light, um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. It's uh, 25 pounds. So yeah, obviously, I'm just very biased. I've obviously never promoted the Stadium of Light, it's a really good question. It's obviously, it's awesome, but I can't just uh, lie. And I've always posted the Stadium of Light because it's not a place that I enjoy. It's not a place that I want to go back to the Stadium of Light. So yeah, I'm not obviously the premise, but just a quick ramble about the Stadium of Light. It is all like, but we have a concourse, so it's not a simple um, And yeah, I just think it's the best Stadium in general, really. Not any fans as well. But anyway, that doesn't really matter because that's just full on ramble. Um, so we'll, we'll get under the actual um, head to head, the final deciding factor, if you will. Alright, head to head has got to be the deciding factor, and the derby has got to be the deciding factor. However, that being said, head to head cannot be taken into account because 53 won, 53 lost, so it's equal so far. So we've got to take into account highest defeat um, slash victory, and we've got to take into account who's been beating it in most recent times. So if we have a look at most recent times, it's obviously the six in a row. So we win on that. Like, there is no debate. We are better. Six in a row. We have won the derbies six times in a row. Out of the last nine times, we have won six, drawn three. They haven't won a derby since 2011. For five years straight of full derby games back in the Prem, they didn't win a single one. Obviously, we haven't played since 2016. But... That just shows that realistically in recent times we have been the better team in the derby. So that's the one factor taken into account. The other one is obviously highest defeat. Uh, and that goes to, I think it is 1908. Yep, and they lost 9-1 to us in um, the first division. So realistically, there is no debate for derbies. Because it's equal on head to head. If it was like maybe you said one more, you, they haven't. They haven't won more. So you've been defeated like embarrassingly in 1908 by us 9 1. And in most recent times, we've won six in a row. Now, I know I'm being a bit biased here and a bit harsh, but I don't think there is any debate on this one at least. On the other ones, you're going to go for debate. But in my little rankings that I've done, I think that means Sunderland wins. But we'll, we'll talk about it. In my books, and I've tried to cover every factor, Sunderland win. It's close, and don't get me wrong, there is arguments to see that Newcastle are a bigger club. But if we have a look at all the factors I've gone through, right? If we have a look at trophies, yes, Newcastle win. I give that to Newcastle, and even that's up for the BNC, and we've won more league titles and stuff. Um, then we have a look at recent success. Um, I think that goes to us, right? Obviously, they've had an average... A better average league position but if we have a look at um, who's won the trophies most recently it was us who's had better cup runs it's been us with our capital one cup run and um, so that one goes to us and if we have a look at stadium and average attendance and um, it goes to them overall but if we have a look at stuff like highest attendance that goes to us and um, so that one would be classified as a draw because it could go either way and um, but you know you could debate either or but the only one that to me isn't up for debate and the one that is the deciding factor is who's done better in the derby head to head whether that be um, through um, biggest victory or whether that be through just in recent times we have it and there isn't a debate for me on that factor and I know people are going to think well how's that got to do with club size 
but realistically it's Sunderland vs Newcastle it's the biggest derby in English football in my opinion um, and I just think that this is one of the factors that will go into the club size one of the factors that people will look at is well who's done better out of the two um, against each other so overall I'm thinking yeah it's up for debate but I just think that Sunderland edge it in my opinion and I know you're going to think well obviously it's pick Sunderland but I've tried to be as unbiased as possible and I've given Newcastle their due, dili their due diligence when it is deserved um, and I've tried to give them extra points in places where I think it could go Sunderland's way just so people think I'm being fair but I think there is a heavy debate to argue Sunderland is a bigger club and I'm just going to leave you with this one clip from Rory Jennings um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, have a fantastic day please like and subscribe, turn on post notifications and all Cheers, guys. Who do you think is a bigger club, Sunderland or Newcastle? Newcastle. Completely not true. Newcastle. Incorrect. Newcastle. Wrong. It uh, is Newcastle. It really isn't. They've got no success. Yeah. 55 is the last time Newcastle won a trophy. 1955. They're one of the yeah. biggest teams in the in England. They're not, mate. They are. They've got a nice ground. Like, what are we basing this on?